In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can use multiple Roblox accounts at once on Roblox. Now, this works with any game that you're playing. It really doesn't matter if it's anime, simulate, anime adventures or armrest simulator. It really doesn't matter. You can use it on whatever you want. Now, with that being said, this video is a little bit complicated in some areas, but I'm going to make it as simple as possible. But I do ask that you do pay close attention and watch the video to the end to ensure you get every step correct and you don't miss anything out because that will be the best way for you to get it completely right. Now, with that being said, please like and subscribe, comment down below that you're watching, and let's get right into the video. So, the first thing we actually need to do is we need to close Roblox. So, just press leave or whatever, and there, we're ready to actually get started with this now. Okay, so the first thing you actually want to do is you want to go ahead onto your computer or somewhere like that and just create a new folder. So I'm going to put new, new folder, and I'm going to call this account manager. Now you can't actually see that I've made that because I have um, a weird like uh, computer setting, so I don't see anything on my desktop. But if I was to go into here, you can see I have actually made it. And I just renamed it here to account manager. I spelled that wrong, but that's fine. Accounts Manager is perfectly fine. So that's the first step. And now the next step is we actually need to go online and we need to type in something onto Google. So I'll show you what it is. So I'm going to open this up here. And the thing that we need to type in is Roblox Account Manager. So the one that we're looking for is this one here. It's the first link. It's a GitHub one. It's by this one. Pay close attention. Make sure you get the right one so you don't get your account hacked or anything like that. But this one is completely safe and secure to use. So from here, we can actually go ahead and use this. Once on the site, we need to scroll down to the bottom. Um, oops, I think I've gone too far, actually. We need to scroll down to where it says downloads. I've gone to this bit here, releases. And we want to get the latest version. So this one is... Uh, here actually this one's a pre-release we don't really want to pre-release we want the latest version because a pre-release will probably potentially have bugs so this is the one we want to get and we're going to go down here and download the asset we're going to download the zip not the source code not these just this zip here so click on this and this should start downloading so once it's finished downloading we can actually go find the folder and we can extract it here like this and i'm just going to find it Roblox account okay so here it is it's called Roblox account manager this one here and we've got another folder here so now that we're here we can click on this account manager here and it's going to say RAM is detected you have a large monitor than average would you like scale just press yes uh, okay whatever cool and now it's going to open up like this now at this point if you'd like to you can click and drag all of this stuff here that we just created and put it into the desktop or the folder that we just created or if you don't want to you can just leave it like this. So now that we're um, set up we actually need to go ahead and put this information in. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So now we need to pick one of these. Do you want to be encryption or do you want a password? I'd recommend password. Now put in a password here that you're going to remember. So I'm just putting one here. And I've got my password and hit continue. And it's going to ask me to confirm my password. So put the same password in again, like this. And then you can hit continue. Oh, I entered the wrong password. Okay, that was stupid. Okay, I finally managed to actually put my um, password in correctly. So now it's going to look something like this. So next what we need to do once we're in this window here is we need to actually go over to the little button at the bottom here that says add account and we're going to click this here and it's going to open up a new Roblox login tab. So in here what you're going to do is obviously log in. So it's pretty simple just put your username and password in there. Oops. Okay so that's one account in there. And now you can actually add another account if you'd like to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now myself. Just add account and it's going to open up this new Chromium. And then I'm going to put another account in here like this. So. Okay, the next thing we need to do is, is you use the place ID thing. So this is going to be basically the game that you're playing. So what you want to do is go to Roblox. And then once you're in Roblox, you need to find the game you want to play on the both accounts. So let's say we want to do... Um, anime simulator or anime um, adventures sorry so I'll type it in here ok 
Yeah, found it. I'm going to click on it. And at the top here, you can see in the URL, there is a little code up the top here. So I want to click on this and get this code here. Copy that. Open up the thing again. And the place ID, you want to paste that in there like that. And yeah, you want to do that for both accounts. So that's going to be set up as the place ID. Nice. So the next step here is that you might want to add the um, job ID. So basically a job ID is a private server. So let's say we go into here and we have a server. I don't have a private server. So let me say create one um, private IT or something like that. Uh, of costs nothing. Okay, now I can customize it if I want to. Um, friends allowed. Um, saving this. Da, 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 da. Private server links. You want to generate the link. And basically, you want to copy this link here. And this is going to be the job ID. You want to select both of these and hit save like this. Basically, this is going to be the basically the job ID is basically the um, private server. Yeah. So save that and select both of them. Now you can actually um, play different uh, games for different ones if you just go onto them each individually and put a different one in there and then save it. But that's really um, up for you to decide if that's what you want to do. Now for me, I just want to go into um, the same game. So now that we've done that, we can actually go ahead to the next step. Now, in order to actually be able to have both these accounts running at once, it's very important you follow this step. You go over here to this little icon, this little cog icon here, and you go down to multi Roblox, and then to make sure that setting selected. Now, if you don't do that, basically you're only going to have to play one account at a time, and it basically beats the defeats the object of the video. Make sure you set that on because um, otherwise, yeah, it will not work. So now that we've got that on, you can actually go ahead and click join server, and it should go ahead and work. So I'm clicking join server join server and just press yes yes okay so for me I don't actually have um, Roblox installed on my computer like the normal way I've actually installed it um, via the Microsoft Store so that's why I'm getting that error but for you if you've installed it on um, just a normal Roblox download rather than the Microsoft Store then that should be perfectly fine for you but basically when I join it it's basically saying um, not set an instance of an object blah 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 join server it's basically looking for the server it can't find it um, I think I possibly could um, I think I possibly could find the one but that's basically how you would go about doing it now once you open both of these up you're going to get two windows here which is um, you know easy to use so from here you can actually get an auto clicker and set that up. So an auto clicker I'd recommend is something like Tiny Task. And basically the way Tiny Task works is that you can set up automations on Roblox with it. Um it's pretty good. Uh you would have to set it up for with both windows in mind. So you have to like split them across your screen, something like that. And just keep it in mind that you're going across back and forth to them. But that would be really, really good for making sure that you don't get kicked for AFKing. But Time Task is very easy to use. I actually do have a few videos about how to use it. So if that's what you want to try and use, then go ahead and check the other videos on the channel. Now, with that being said, that's basically how you use it. So if you did enjoy this video and find it useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.